Democratic Governor Jared Polis' favorite catchphrase is saving Coloradans money. His latest idea twists that term in a whole new way. Polis is pitching a plan to keep property taxes from spiking quite as much as they would by using some of your money that would have been refunded to you anyway. Polis wants to take a dollar from your wallet, put it in your pocket, and tell you that he saved you money. Here's Politics Sky Marshall Zellier. Your property tax bill is going up. The issue is, will it go up a dizzying amount or just a jaw-dropping amount? Homeowners in our state face record increases if we don't act. State lawmakers have one week to pass a bill that would show up on your November ballot asking your permission to limit the increase of your property tax bill, but by using your money to do so. Here is what would show up on your ballot. The proposal would use state surplus. Hang on, let me fix this. The proposal would use your Tabor refund money to make sure the entities that rely on your property taxes don't miss out. Entities like Cherry Creek Schools, RTD, and South Suburban Parks and Rec in Arapahoe County, and RTD and West Metro Fire in Jefferson County. Any reduction to your property tax increase will impact these districts. We have been meeting as a property tax group with the counties and the cities and the schools and the realtors and the assessors, treasurers, and it's kind of a long list. Ann Terry is the executive director of the Special District Association of Colorado. These, the special districts that get funded by property taxes. Terry said despite being part of the process since January, she found out about this proposal yesterday. This feels like it was done in a vacuum and that vacuum left us out and when I say us I mean all of us in the local government world. Here is some quick math based on an example I've shown before. The tax bill for a $500,000 home this year was $2,700. If that home went up in value 33 percent next year's tax bill increases $733. If the legislature passes this late bill and voters say yes next year's tax bill still goes up just not as much $567. Some of the difference between the two will still be paid to local governments using your Tabor refund money. It gives the governor and legislators some headlines to say they're trying to ease property tax relief, but it's coming from money that would otherwise come to us anyway. Michael Fields, so, who we've talked with several times, is pursuing a ballot issue of his own to limit property tax increases to 3% each year. I think it has to be a cap because the cap is what is the biggest deal because it's the only thing that ensures it doesn't keep happening and keep happening. Under his proposal, which hasn't qualified for the ballot yet, that $2,700 property tax bill from this year in that home example would only increase $83, regardless of how much the value of your home increased, but that also means less for all of those districts that expect your property tax money. So you're going to say, oh, $83, that's great, but then you'll know that the school districts, the cities, counties, fire district, they would be impacted too. It's possible both could show up on your November ballot as competing, but both could still pass as competing measures on the same topic. So, uh, Fields, the conservative activist, is talking about a 3% cap on property tax increases. The renters are watching this going, where's my cap on rent? That, of course, would be called rent control, which right. they debated at the state legislature this year and down. voted down. And you, there was already uh, concern at this committee hearing today on this bill that renters will be, their rent will go up because the landlords will pass it on to the, the renters, and the renters are actually funding these districts with their Tabor refund money through no fault of their own. They're not getting the Tabor refund money back, and they're kind of getting hit twice, once with the tax bill or from the, from the landlord bill, and then not getting your Tabor refund. So that's, I don't know if that's going to get worked out, but that's one of the complaints right now about this bill. There's all kinds of things in government and finance that work to redistribute wealth, but this is a redistribution in part from renters to property owners, which is really interesting mm -hmm. in this day and age. All right, Marshall, thank you.